Did you know that, according to recent studies, visceral fat is not just a stubborn belly bulge, but it's also linked to an increased risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and even some types of cancer. It's not just about fitting into your favorite pair of jeans, it's about your overall health and well-being. Welcome back to our channel, where we are dedicated to helping you achieve your health and fitness goals. Today, we are diving deep into the topic of visceral fat, that sneaky fat hiding around your vital organs. It's not only unsightly, but also a silent danger lurking within. Understanding visceral fat is crucial because it can affect anyone, regardless of age, gender, or body size. Now, you might be wondering, why should I care about reducing visceral fat? Well, the benefits go far beyond aesthetics. Shedding those excess pounds of visceral fat can lead to a remarkable improvement in your overall health. It can help lower your risk of chronic diseases, boost your energy levels, and enhance your quality of life. In this video, we are going to equip you with the knowledge and tools you need to tackle visceral fat head-on. We will explore its causes, dive into the right dietary choices, discover effective exercise strategies, and explore stress management techniques. We will also delve into the crucial role of sleep and hydration, and even discuss supplements that may aid in your journey. Stick around because, by the end of this video, you will have a clear roadmap to reduce visceral fat quickly and effectively. Let's get started. So first, we talk about what is visceral fat. Let's start by demystifying visceral fat. Visceral fat, also known as intra-abdominal fat, is not just a superficial layer underneath your skin. It's the fat that surrounds your internal organs, like your liver, pancreas, and intestine. This fat is stored deep within your abdomen, making it different from the subcutaneous fat which is the fat you can pinch between your fingers just beneath your skin. Now we explain the difference between visceral fat and subcutaneous fat. The key distinction between visceral fat and subcutaneous fat is their location and function. Subcutaneous fat lies just beneath your skin and serves as insulation and a source of energy. On the other hand, visceral fat, being situated around vital organs, is metabolically active and produces hormones and inflammatory substances that can wreak havoc on your health when in excess. Excess visceral fat isn't just a cosmetic concern, it's a health hazard. It's been linked to a range of serious health issues, including heart disease, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, and even certain cancers. The hormones released by visceral fat can disrupt your body's natural balance, leading to insulin resistance, inflammation, and a host of metabolic problems. So, reducing visceral fat isn't just about getting that flat tummy, it's about safeguarding your well-being. Now we discuss the factors that contribute to the accumulation of visceral fat. Now that we understand what visceral fat is and its risks, let's explore how it accumulates. Several factors can contribute to the buildup of visceral fat. Stress, genetics, hormones, and even your sleep patterns play vital roles in this process. Genetics can predispose some individuals to store more fat viscerally, but diet and lifestyle choices also play a significant role. Poor dietary habits such as excessive consumption of sugary and processed foods can lead to visceral fat gain. Lifestyle factors like a sedentary routine can exacerbate the problem. Now we discuss the importance of hormone regulation in visceral fat gain. Hormones like cortisol, insulin, and certain sex hormones can impact how your body stores fat. When these hormones are out of balance, it can promote the accumulation of visceral fat. Hormone regulation is a crucial aspect of managing visceral fat and we'll delve into this further as we progress in this video. One of the most influential factors in reducing visceral fat is your diet. What you eat directly affects how your body stores and uses fat. In the next section, we'll take a closer look at the dietary changes you can make to target visceral fat specifically. Additionally, we will break down the concept of a calorie deficit, which is fundamental to fat reduction. Understanding how many calories you need and how to create a deficit can be a game changer in your journey to shed that dangerous visceral fat. So, let's jump right in and discover how dietary choices can be a powerful tool in your battle against visceral fat. Now that we've covered the dietary aspect, let's dive into the exercise strategies that can help you combat visceral fat effectively. Now we introduce various types of exercises that target visceral fat. To start, it's important to understand that you can't spot reduced fat from just one area of your body. However, certain types of exercises can help you burn overall body fat, which includes troublesome visceral fat. A combination of aerobic and resistance training is your ticket to success. Aerobic exercises like jogging, swimming, or cycling get your heart rate up and burn calories, which can lead to fat loss throughout your body. 
But don't overlook resistance training, which includes activities like weightlifting or bodyweight exercises. This helps build muscle mass, boosting your metabolism, and making it easier to keep visceral fat at bay. To get you started, here's a simple sample workout routine. Cardiovascular exercise three to four times a week. Aim for 30 to 45 minutes of brisk walking, jogging, or cycling. Resistance training two to three times a week. Incorporate exercises like squats, lunges, and push-ups to target major muscle groups. Core workouts two to three times a week include planks, Russian twists, and leg raises to strengthen your core. Remember, consistency is key when it comes to exercise. Start slow, gradually increase intensity, and consult a fitness professional if you're new to exercise or have any health concerns. Our next point is the connection between stress and visceral fat. Stress can be a silent contributor to visceral fat accumulation. When you're stressed, your body releases cortisol, a hormone that can trigger fat storage in your abdomen. This means that chronic stress can lead to the buildup of visceral fat over time. To combat stress and its impact on visceral fat, consider incorporating stress reduction techniques into your daily routine. Meditation, deep breathing exercises, yoga, and mindfulness can help lower cortisol levels and promote a sense of calm and well-being. These practices not only benefit your mental health, but can also assist in your quest to reduce visceral fat. Now we discuss the importance of quality sleep in visceral fat reduction. You might not have thought about this, but the quality of your sleep can have a significant impact on visceral fat. Poor sleep patterns can disrupt the hormonal balance in your body, leading to increased appetite and cravings for unhealthy foods. To improve sleep hygiene and, in turn, support visceral fat reduction, try the following. Maintain a consistent sleep schedule. Create a comfortable and dark sleep environment. Limit screen time before bed. Avoid caffeine and heavy meals close to bedtime. Prioritizing quality sleep can help you manage stress, regulate hormones, and ultimately contribute to reducing visceral fat. Lastly, don't overlook the importance of hydration in your journey to reduce visceral fat. Proper hydration supports your metabolism and can aid in fat loss by helping your body efficiently burn calories. A general guideline is to aim for about 8 to 10 glasses of water per day, but individual needs can vary based on factors like climate and activity level. Staying adequately hydrated can also help control appetite and prevent overeating. So, there you have it, effective exercise strategies, stress management techniques, the significance of quality sleep, and the role of hydration in your battle against visceral fat. Incorporating these lifestyle changes can make a significant difference in your journey to a healthier, slimmer you. Stay tuned for more tips and insights as we continue on this path together. In closing, it's essential to remember that reducing visceral fat is not just about quick fixes or crash diets. It's about embracing a holistic approach to your well-being. We've covered the fundamentals. From understanding what visceral fat is to the critical roles of diet, exercise, stress management, sleep, and hydration in your journey towards a healthier you. The key takeaways are clear, prioritize whole, nutrient-dense foods, engage in a combination of aerobic and resistance exercises, manage stress through mindfulness practices, improve your sleep quality, and stay hydrated. These steps, when combined, create a powerful synergy that can help you win the battle against visceral fat and enhance your overall health. So, take action today, make these positive changes in your lifestyle, and watch as your health and vitality soar. Remember, your journey to reducing visceral fat is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about long-term health and well-being. That said, thanks for watching, and until next time, stay committed to your goals, stay healthy, and stay tuned for more valuable insights and tips right here at our channel.